Today I fucked up by assuming my friend has seen it's always sunny. One of my friends posted on Instagram that he had gotten a puppy and named her Artemis. For those of you that aren't a fan of the show It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, there is a legendary character named Artemis, known for her foul behavior. She introduced herself on the show by proudly declaring, Name's Artemis. I have a bleached asshole. So, doing what any rational person would, I sent my friend a DM that said, Does she have a bleached asshole? Well, turns out my buddy has not seen the show and is extremely upset that I had asked him if he had bleached his puppy's asshole. He responded, said I was disgusting and needed help. I tried to explain the situation but I don't think it made it much better. Now I don't think I'll get to see the cute pup. Too long did not read. Buddy thinks I have mental problems after I asked him if he bleached his dog's asshole. I don't think you will get to meet the puppy, because of the implication. Always start a sunny reference with, hey you've seen always sunny right? Meanwhile, Artemis is a Greek goddess. Your friend, sounds like a jabroni. Made this mistake about the movie Titanic. Someone posted a picture of their dog splayed out on a couch and asked for captions. I said, paint me like one of your French girls, and got blocked. Today I fucked up by fooling around with a neighbor who's on the WA board. I know this is a first world problem. It still sucks. I had fooled around with a neighbor who happens to sit on the board of our building's WA. It hadn't been an issue until recently when I declined to fool around with him. I learned that he had been dating some girl, and as far as I can tell, she does not know that he has an ex-FWB in the building. Feeling uncomfortable about the FWB arrangement, I told him very politely what my reasons were for saying no to a request for a quick beach. I had to remind him very calmly and rationally that he cannot grandfather in casual sex when he is in a relationship with someone else. Life does not work that way. Well, I think he's angry. I can't prove it without a lot of expensive legal fees that I don't think is worth the squeeze. In short, he sits on the WA board, and I am pretty certain that he is an influential voice on the Architectural Improvement Committee. This is the committee that residents have to submit unit alteration applications to for approval. Yes. Even for something like wall mounting TVs or putting a planter on the balcony. One of the items that needs pre-approval is outdoor furniture. I imagined it was pretty pro forma. Fill out the application. Make sure it is heavy enough that it won't fly off the balcony and hurt someone on the street, and BAM approved. When I saw this set that I liked for an outdoor refresh, I placed the order because I thought it would be approved without problems. It was a limited sale and a very good deal. Then I got the rejection on Friday. To make matters worse, the furniture had already been delivered because it took the WA forever to review the application. The reason the committee provided was that the color of the sunbrella cushions was not consistent with the aesthetic of the common spaces. I immediately replied with a question. Why did Unit X get approved for their teal cushions and mine got denied? Their reply was that it was an oversight. Moving forward they would not allow unapproved colors anymore. I just know it was him. I can't prove it without getting an attorney and alleging inconsistent application of WA rules, depose them and find out. But again, the juice is not worth the squeeze. I can get new cushions that are neutral, but I can't return my fun cushions and I'm out several hundred dollars because of it. This sucks so much. Too long did not read. My balcony furniture got rejected by the WA and I highly suspect it is because my XFWB is being a petty biatch. I'm also out hundreds of dollars because the cushions that were rejected are non-refundable. Maybe I should have agreed to his request until after my outdoor furniture was approved. If you want to resolve your WA approval issue quickly, send an email to the official email account asking if your recent refusal of approval was related to you refusing to give a BJ to a sitting member of the WA board and CC a local attorney. Tell the WA. Write them a letter explaining your relationship with him and end with, I can't help wondering how much of this decision comes out of his disappointment in my refusal to continue a sexual relationship with him. I'd like to request that the WA reconsider my application but now with name recused from the discussion and decision making. And I'd like to request that, from now on, with any decision that involves me, he recuse himself. You can mention your lawyer as well. Seems like an WA board member having relations with at least two members he is responsible making decisions for as a conflict of interest and possibly a form of quid pro quo harassment. Put the furniture out anyway, and if they try to fine you or something, Present a photograph of your neighbor's similar furniture and that you'll remove yours when they remove theirs, or you'll be treating this as discrimination for X reason and suing the shit out of the wall. 
And remember, if they do make your neighbor remove their furniture, it's not because of you, it's just the WA being the WA. Check your bylaws. There might be a time requirement for their approval, rejection. If they took too long, it might be an automatic approval. Today I fucked up by not noticing my checks to a storage bay weren't being cashed. In December 2019 my lease was expiring and my landlord was a prick so I moved in with my girlfriend pending getting a place together. I moved basically my entire life into a 10 by 30 mini storage place. Spring of 2020 housing went stupid and we ended up just now finally getting a place. Today I went to my warehouse to unpack and found a different lock on the door. I called the phone number for the place and was told that they had auctioned off all of my belongings in February. Apparently they changed ownership in January of this year and since my automatic bill pay had the checks in the old owner's company name the new people couldn't cash them. They tried to call me, but turns out when transferring information the old owners screwed up and gave them the wrong phone number. The old owners also didn't give them my email address even though they definitely had it because they emailed me from time to time. They mailed me letters, but I never changed my address with them and my forwarding had expired. They even tried to find me on Facebook, but once again I'm fucked over there, zuckbandme.com for my story. My father also had a unit there, but I guess the new owners didn't put two and two together about having two people with the same first and last name with a different middle name. I've lost everything. Lots of furniture, appliances, artwork, car parts, whatever. More importantly my entire life's collection of heirlooms, memories of my late mother, the Christmas stocking that I was sent home from the hospital in after being born on Christmas Day, the Lionel train set that my father bought me for my first birthday, every child in my family since the 1920s has gotten one, all of my son's old artwork and schoolwork I had saved, and about six plastic totes full of Star Wars memorabilia. All gone forever. Too long did not read. Mini storage changed owners didn't have my contact info, I didn't update my address, and I didn't notice my checks not being cashed for the last two months. I lost everything including the will to live. That's absolutely devastating, so sorry man. If they had a third party auction it off is there any way you could check with them since this happened relatively recently? Maybe you could reach out to the buyer of the unit? I feel like it's probably pretty fruitless but I always try to be hopeful. My dad told me to just store my mechanics tools and motorcycle in a storage unit instead of buying a truck to move them across the country. I've already moved and they're at a friend's place. I said something like this could happen and he scoffed. I'm so sorry homie. For what it's worth. I'd still contact an attorney. You paid your bill. The old owner gave them your wrong info. The liability is wholesale on the new owners and they wrongly disposed of your possessions. Contact an attorney. I wonder if you can take legal action against the former or current owners. I also wonder if you can publicize your story on local auction forums and groups FB, Craigslist, even a local sub. Maybe someone was there. Maybe they remember specific things maybe they know where locals have sold or pawned some things. It's unlikely that the most sentimental photos and items would have been kept but, worth a shot. So the old owners didn't forward the rent payments or serve you notice of the sale. I would say they are at fault and you should contact a lawyer, they give free consultations. You have nothing to lose at this point and many lawyers will charge no fees until you recover losses, but even with that their fees are negotiable.